some days there's just not enough chocolate in the world. Now, for those of you that don't know what these are, these are Hershey Kisses. They are a vice of mine. Uh, many of you guys may have different vices. Some people like wine, other people uh, like my husband and pastor like Coca-Cola. Um, other people, uh, it could be steak, it could be anything. Mine is chocolate. Some days there's just not enough chocolate to make that day much better. When those days happen, what do you do? Hey guys, it's Bethany Finch from American Made Home Solutions. And this Win Wednesday, I want to talk about some of the things that we do. Yes, some days it's just get more chocolate, right? Other days, it's like this beautiful background that you see. It's uh, my daughter used to live in Hawaii, and this is a picture from back there. And uh, it, it's like that, right? Everything seems to be going right, and things are going well, and uh, you're just click, click, clicking and feeling like things are going great. And then who knows, maybe COVID-19 happened or um, someone in your family got sick or ill or an unexpected bill came that you hadn't planned on and forgot about. Life kind of always throws things at us one after another. And we need to have those coping skills. Now granted, some may not think chocolate is a coping skill, but I'll tell you different. It is definitely a coping skill. But sometimes we need to remember what it is that's motivating us and what it is that we're doing. So for instance, is our vacation motivating us to get out and do some extra work to get that money so we can go on that vacation? Is um, a lower house payment motivating us? So we're uh, cleaning everything up because we're having an appraisal done so we can get the refi right now with all these rates really low. Uh, is the um, thought of being able to retire on your own terms, not waiting until you're 75 or 80, living in poverty at $1,000 a month. Are those the things that are motivating you? What's motivating you? Now granted, my illustration of chocolate is just a small sample. Chocolate doesn't get me out of bed in the morning, guys. It does not happen. Chocolate may keep me going when I'm having those rough moments, um, but chocolate doesn't get me out of bed. What motivates us to get out of bed is the thought that, are we making a difference in this world? Are we impacting others? Whether it be in our community, in our business, in our um, uh, town that we live, um, or even across the nation, are we making a difference? It's those deep down core things that get you out of bed in the morning. As a mom, when you know your kids are counting on you and they need you, that's what gets you out of bed when you've had no sleep and they're crying in the middle of the night. That's what gets you out of bed. When you've been at the hospital for four hours and your child has a broken pinky and you've, again, usually never had any sleep and the doctors are still making, making you wait and you're having to keep him calm and keep his spirits up and keep going. Those are the things that motivate us to reach down deep and do what's necessary. So ask yourself, what is it that motivates me? Is it a better life for your family? I'll show you a picture here of our vision board. These things motivate us. Now, some of them are our family, and some of it is doing things with our family, creating a lifestyle by design. Others are being able to impact the world for Christ. Those are things that motivate us, and being able to help others do the same thing. So those are the things that get us out of bed when we don't want to, that motivate us to dig down deeper and step out of our comfort zone when we need to ask that question one more time, or talk to one more person when you're exhausted, things like that. So ask yourself, what motivates you? Stop it in the box. I can wait. Most of the time you'll find it doesn't take you too long. Most everybody says, oh, family, friends, things like that. But when push comes to shove, 
and you ask yourself, if those things were taken away, would you still do the things that you're doing? Would you still get up and go to work? If all your bills were paid, would you still do it? Some people don't stop to realize they go to work because it makes them feel good. They feel like they're accomplishing something. And that's what's truly motivating them, not the paycheck. Because if you could replace that income with something else, why wouldn't you? There's usually something deeper at its core. So look a little deeper. Let's figure out what motivates you and drop it in the box. I'll drop mine in the box. I'll send you a picture. You'll see my vision board. You'll get to see that on here. They'll probably pop it up. And you can see what motivates us. Those are the things during COVID-19 that we need to be latching on to and reminding ourselves when we're tired, when we feel like there's no more solutions, when we feel like there's no more answers, because once again, the government ran out of money again. Guys, this is America. We've never depended upon the government to take care of us. We look to each other and we look to our community. And that's what we need to do again right now. So this Win Wednesday, we're celebrating you what motivates you and how we can continue to build and help that and nourish that in whatever way possible that is. So if you're looking for more information about how you can invest in real estate or how to get started, where to get started, I want to, but I don't know how, I don't even think I have money. Most people don't realize they have money. They just don't know how to access it. Oftentimes it can be tied up in multitudes of places and we can show them that. So give us a call, 360-386-1334, and let's see what motivates you and help you find ways to accomplish those goals. So every day you jump out of bed eager and excited for the next day because you're doing exactly what you want to do, whether it's making a difference in this country, whether it's making a difference for Christ, whether it's uh, reaching your neighbors and being a blessing to them whether it's uh, replacing your income so that you can go take care of grandbabies, whatever. Let's have that conversation. Give us a call today, 360-386-1334. And let's set aside all the fear and all the scary things right now and focus on the good and the positive, the things that we can. Until next Wednesday, we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.